Hey there, YouTube. What is going on? It's the best one, eh? Not like you didn't know that already. Anyway, the kids are off at church, and I was just got done raking some leaves and acorns. And, um, well, I wanted to come out, take a little cruise, and also shoot a, just shoot a little vlog. I got... You know, I do have some stuff on my mind. And, uh, according with some events that took place today. And, kind of wanted to talk about it. I'm gonna skip, I'm gonna end up skipping a few other, the other videos that I have going up. Also, before that, I want to give a shout out to uh, Bodine52, who, did a really nice video talking about the members of the vlogging community and how we all coincide with each other really nice video so if you get a chance you can check that out check out his channel not just the video but check out his channel too also want to give a shout out to randy's rides he took a little nasty spill the road is kind of slippery he took a little nasty spill and uh blew out his tire so they had a little uh they had a adventures adventures with nimby did a gofundme for him so we all chipped in and we got him a we you know got him something and uh that's a, that's how that's how this is how that's what that's how we do in the vlogging community you know one member is down and we're all there for each other you all find a way to be there for each other and that's the way it should be all right and i for sure will always find a way to be there for any any of you guys that need it if possible and i'm able to so i got the new tire on the back i did have to swap out the shinko due to it being pretty much just finished and it was just it was just new tire time. <laughs> yeah, that tire was done. Anyhow, so I wanted to get to you, get to talking about what happened today. And, uh, you know, I was a little pissed off, you know? I mean, uh, there's a car coming up here. Uh, he's taking too long. Anyway, so I was a little pissed off. But what led to this taking place, basically, you know, I, I had to go to the supermarket because I needed to get some pizzas to make for the kids. And so I got the pizzas. Or actually, excuse me, I was getting chicken wings for myself. Anyway, so I got the chicken wings and uh, let this guy go by. So I got the chicken wings and Listen, don't make any jokes about me with chicken wings, all right? Cut the, cut the crap. Cut the crap. Anyway, so I got them, and I'm at the door. It's raining outside. I said, you know what? Let me put this order in for Domino's because I was going to order the pizza. So I said, let me put this order in at Domino's. And um, so I'm sitting there, and I'm looking, and I'm like, all right, yeah, I need one cheese. I'm going to go, oh, it's two medium D. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna get the two mediums. I, I, I'm not gonna eat any because I'm doing keto, and the, the kids were gonna ha have this. So, anyhow, I get the order in, but it ain't go through, and I hear a little altercation going on. Now, what actually had happened was, before this, there was a there was a handicapped man that was complaining, or I mean, and rightfully so. You know, he wanted to get one of those little motorized scooters, and that motorized scooter is you know the handicapped motorized scooter so he couldn't get it because there was two young girls that were using the scooter and they were not and they were not handicapped right so anyhow he complained to the store manager the two young girls came out and this young this gentleman i don't know where the heck he came from but I saw the two girls come out and I'm, I'm looking at them and I'm like, you know what, it's funny, they don't look handicapped. So he says to them, oh yeah, what are you doing with the, 
What are you doing with the scooters, uh, the, the, the carts? Uh, what are you doing with them? Why do you have them? And then, you know, they said, oh, well, we parked over here. And then he goes, oh, well, you know, you're not handicapped. Get off those scooters. Right, I figure you are F you on those scooters and F you this and F you that. And so I turn around and I'm looking at him and I'm like, Dag, I mean, I know they're in the wrong, but you have to curse at them because they're using these scooters and doing whatever the heck it is that they're doing. I mean, is it really that big of a deal that you, you know, that you got to go this route? So anyway, the mother is there. I didn't see her. And obviously, he didn't see her. And uh, all she got upset. She got heated. Which I could understand because, you know, you, you're standing there and you hear this guy cursing at your kids. Yeah, you know your kids are in the wrong. We all know that. That's cool. I understand that. So she got upset and starts to and starts to basically let him, you know, let him have it. And and he's like, oh, you, know, you get out of my face and you just and you that. And he's cursing her. And he's calling her a B and everything that everything that he could possibly think of. Everything that you could possibly think of, you know, he's calling her. So, um, then I see him raise his hand, almost like he was going to smack her. And I said, oh, no. I said, oh, no. I put my phone away. I put my phone in my pocket. I got in between them. I said, hey, listen, that's it right there. That's, that's far enough. You ain't, I said, listen, you ain't going to, you ain't going to put your hands on her. You know, I said, you're not going to put your, I'm not going to stand here. And let you put your hands on her. That's not good. That's not going to happen. Yeah, her daughters were wrong for being in the carts. Okay, fine. You know, you say your piece about that. I, I, I have no issue with that. That I understand. They were, they, the kids were in the wrong. Okay. But you raising your hand at, at this young woman now? Uh-uh. Nope. Mm-mm. No way. I said, <laughs> oh, man. And then... He looked at me. He said, "Man, but you get out my face!" Oh, uh, and I, I, you know, what? I lost my cool. You know, I try to, I try to maintain my cool. And man, I lost my cool. And I told him, I said, "Man, I said, man, if you, you don't, I said, man, if you don't, freaking back up." I said, "I'm gonna call the damn cops on you." He said, "Oh, go ahead, call the cops." I, said, I picked up my phone. I called 911. Then the manager came over. And uh, manager, she started to talk to him and say, "Hey, listen, you know, you can go back." I said, "Man, listen, man, you do what you you, you do what you want to do. I don't care, but I'm not gonna stand here and let you hit this female. That's not gonna happen. I'm not going for it. Plain and simple, I'm not going for it. You know, a lot of people like to just stand by and let things happen, which I can understand to some extent. But you know what? I, I just, I just to let somebody." just put their hands on a female for nonsense i don't think so it's not domestic either you know what i mean where yeah maybe it could be questionable it, it's not even that i just i said man nah man that's that's not gonna happen I, i'm not i just not going for it i refuse you know man i, I tell you i was pissed man i was so freaking pissed and then what you know i i, I wasn't too pissed when I saw him raise his hand. You know, I, I got a little agitated, but I was respectful. At least that's how I feel. But when he told me, man, if you don't get out my face, this ain't got nothing to do with you. That was it. That was it. I was like, freak that, man. Y'all, I'm a grown man. You know what? I'm not going to stand here and let you hit a woman. You know, put your hands on me. Let's go. I don't know. I don't know. I don't care. I don't care what you know, whatever. But you know what? going I'll, I'll defend myself to the best of my ability plain and simple you know it'll be man on man it's not gonna be man on a freaking woman out here you know i'm just not going for that man i got two daughters you know what i mean and you know what i could never i could never see allowing something like that i mean i could never i mean can you imagine some man put his hand on your daughter and you got grown men just standing around on a phone or walking by like it ain't nothing or they don't have nothing to do with it i don't think so man i'm, I'm just not i can't do that 
I can't do that, guys. That's just not me. The road's a little wet. Anyway, um, I'm sorry that the rant's a little bit long. I'm, nice to see that my clutch adjustment turned out good. I'm sorry to, that the rant is kind of on the long side, guys, but... You know what? I had to I had to get this off my chest today. You know, I, I I was just sweeping leaves and I'm like, oh, I just I should just vlog about it. I should just vlog about it. I figured that's just what I'll do. You know, right is right and wrong is wrong. And people need to understand that. You need to understand when you know when you're wrong, you're wrong. If you're using those motorized carts and you have people that are disabled and they need to use them but can't use them, then you're wrong. Just the same as if you park in a handicapped spot <clears throat> and you have people that need a handicap parking but they can't get a handicap parking, guess what, buddy? You're wrong. You know what? I think I'll go, uh, go to the left. You're wrong. Anyhow, that's what I got, YouTube. And I thank you guys for listening to my rant. I'm just out here rolling around on this new Michelin Commander 2 back tire that I got on bike. And yeah, that's my topic. It might be kind of long. I don't know how many of you guys are going to make it to the end. But if you do, I thank you. Congrats, Kid Raven! Woo! Kid Raven can ride! Woo! That's what I'm talking about, baby! Get on that bike! Let's go! <laughs> oh, my son likes to say that. Let's go! This felt good. You know, it felt good to get this off my dang nabbing chest. I didn't even tell my wife about it yet, but I'm gonna tell her. She's probably gonna get a laugh out of it and say I'm crazy. And then kiss me up. Tell me I'm hot and I'm sexy. <laughs> oh man. Anyhow, guys. Uh, yeah, so that's what DBS 1A has for you. And I uh, thank you all for watching. And we'll talk later.